Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in this first Sunday in the new year, we celebrate the feast of the holy name of Jesus, our Savior. This holy feast is the completion of the circumcision of our Lord that we have celebrated on the 1st of January at the beginning of the new year. And in fact, this intimate bond between the circumcision and today's Holy Feast is visible in the same Gospel that we read in, on both festivities. The Gospel of Jesus' circumcision after eight days since he was born and uh, the Gospel in which we read that during the circumcision Jesus was given his name as he was called by the angel before he was conceived in his mother's womb. Jesus, the name of our Savior. Jesus is Yeshua, which means God is salvation. God is the Savior. And Jesus is the Savior. This is the name that God the Father has given to his Son. And we know that uh, in the Gospel of Saint Luke, when the angel came to bring to Our Lady this great news, the incarnation of God, the angel said, you will call his name Jesus. While in the Gospel of Saint Matthew, we know that the angel told Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, the keeper of this great mystery, that he would call his name Jesus. So in both Gospels we see this uh, mystery. God gave the name to his son, but uh, this name has to be given now in this moment in time by his parents, Our Lady and Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph always through Our Lady. Let us now briefly reflect on the importance of calling Jesus' name and adoring his name. The importance of this interior adoration is manifested especially in the Acts of the Apostles, the letter that we read at the beginning of this Mass. Peter is reminding the people of Israel that there is no other name under heaven in which it is established to find salvation other than the name of Christ, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom you crucified, he says, but God the Father raised from the dead. And in this name there is salvation, for there is no other name under heaven given to men whereby we must be saved. Jesus' name is a name of salvation. <clears throat> we have also to know that in the Bible, in the Jewish culture, the name is not just something to uh, define a person. It means the mission of the person. It explains the person itself. So to call a person by a specific name, it means to attribute directly to that person his her mission and the mission of our Lord is to be our Savior, to be our Redeemer. We also see in the name of Jesus like a salvific bridge uniting heaven and earth. Only in Christ, in his mission as the Redeemer, as the Savior of mankind, we have this unity between heaven and earth, between God and 
man. My dear people, this is a day, special day. We have also to know that we started to feast today's holy celebration thanks to the Franciscans, especially to one of these great Franciscan preachers, St. Benedict of Siena in Italy, who uh, was de very much devoted to the sacred holy name of Jesus, also spreading devotion where he was preaching the Holy Gospel by uh, making this monogram of the name of Jesus that you know, I-H-S. You see, when you read I-H-S, it means Jesus, hominum, salvator. Jesus, the savior of mankind. Not N-H-S, actually, but I-H-S, Jesus is the salvation of mankind. And this St. Benedict, in preaching, uh, wherever he went, always brought with him this name of Jesus to show to the people, to make the people adore the name of Jesus and to have this monogram always with them as a sign of adoration to the name of Jesus as a reminder of this salvation that we have received by our Lord from his, his mystery. Today is then the day during which we are reminded of this mystery. We adore our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, the, the best way to venerate and adore the holy name of Jesus is to pray to the name of Jesus, to pray, uh, to, to call on this holy name. And we do it when we pray the Hail Mary. You remember, the very center of the Hail Mary is the name of Jesus. If we pray this holy name, Prayer, with devotion, with attention of our mind, knowing that we are calling on this name of salvation, we receive that salvation. We experience that salvation, which is not simply a mystery, uh, some a fact, it is even more, it is a person, it is our Lord himself. So today, especially today, but in this new year, when we pray the Hail Mary, let us always remember to say this prayer with devotion. And when we come to the very center of this prayer, the name of Jesus, let's pause a little while in meditating, in pondering that name, that moment so that we can always experience, have this salvation. One final consideration. I said at the beginning that both Our Lady and Saint Joseph gave uh, to Jesus his name as called by the angel. So the best way to pray to Jesus is always to pray to him with Our Lady and with Saint Joseph. That's why we pray the Hail Mary, to come to that center, Jesus. The best way to pray to Jesus is always to go to him through our Blessed Mother and through Saint Joseph. If we want to say the name of our Lord properly, we have to ask our Blessed Mother Mary and Saint Joseph to teach us how to say this name, how to adore the name of Jesus. Because they are those who gave Jesus his name. And so let's treasure this time given to us, especially to discover this great figure of Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, the keeper of all these mysteries entrusted to him, especially 
the mystery of Jesus' name, Jesus' passion, Jesus' salvation. Let's then pray to Saint Joseph with Our Lady to know, to know the name of Jesus, to experience his salvific power over us, over our families and friends. May God grant you a very happy, blessed new year with the blessing of Jesus' name, our salvation, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.